two new collection boxes from Pokemon have just hit the shelves. The Shadow Rider Calyrex V and the Ice Rider Calyrex V. And I actually think these are two of the best products collection box wise Pokemon have released in a long time. So I want to talk all about that and also see if we can get any decent pulls. So let's rip into it. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be opening these two collection boxes right here, the Shadow Rider and the Ice Rider Calyrex V box. And I honestly believe these are two of the best collection boxes Pokemon have released in a while because they've got good packs in them. There's no battle styles in here, guys. It's got two Chilling Rain boosters, a Darkness Ablaze and a Rebel Clash, which, okay, Rebel Clash, not, not so exciting. But the Darkness Ablaze, there's a chance of that Charizard, guys, and Chilling Rain, all those legendary birds, there are chances to pull it in these boxes. And the best thing about it as well is there is a ton of them available in the UK anyway. I don't know about the US market, but in the UK, there is a bunch. I've managed to get a load and I've got them all up for sale on my site. So I'm selling them for about $18.99. So if you can pick them up for around that price, that is really, really good for what is a pretty cool product. The promo card's cool. We will have a closer look because we are opening today and we're gonna see what the pull ratios are actually like. But before we do that, guys, if you're new here to the channel and you enjoy all things Pokemon, go and drop a sub here on the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. And give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Right, uh, I guess we should kickstart the opening with the Ice Rider. Okay, so we got the Ice Rider open. There's that giant promo card looking pretty cool, actually. It's a, it's actually not a bad looking Pokemon. Like the Calyrex itself, nah, but the horse that they ride on is very cool. And the alternate art uh, for these, both of these cards are very nice. And there's the mini version of the card in there. Obviously comes with a code card. Good luck. If you get anything good, come join my Discord and tell us what you got, guys. It will be linked in the description down below, uh, along with my website if you want to go and pick some of these boxes up. And then there's our pack. So look, two chilling rains there, guys. A dance space with the Charizard artwork, guys, and a Rebel Clash. Clash. And uh, we're going to crack into the packs. We're going to use the Charizard, the Darkness of Blaze, as our last pack magic. Okay, let's kick off with Rebel Clash. And it'd be so funny if uh, the best pull I get is actually out of Rebel Clash after slating it. But the reason I say like that about, about Rebel Clash is I honestly, when I think about the set, like with a lot of the other ones, I could tell you like what the chase cards are. But Rebel Clash, I just... I can never remember what the big hidden cards are in the set, to be honest. Is it is it the... Starters? Did it have the Cinderance and and stuff like and Leon and everything in here? I can't really remember. Magma. It's a cool looking artwork though. Nose pass and a unpheasant. Uh, so not great at that one. Okay, we're getting on to Chilling Rain, and this is a beautiful set. Just so many awesome cards in here as well. Pull ratios are still pretty tough on Chilling Rain, but not as bad as Battle Stars. I think that is the biggest issues Battle Stars has. It was just impossible to get the decent pulls that you really wanted out of products. Um, just really, really bad, which is such a shame. I think Pokemon by putting alternate arts in the set and not putting all arts in like the reverse rare slot, uh, has affected it because it, it's so loaded in that back slot that it's really hard to get the cards that you want uh, I wish they kind of moved one of the cards forward, right? Uh, Galarian Slowpoke, oop, oop, Rapid, uh, Rapid Strike, Ursifu, and a mm, Wolverine, nothing in that one Okay, last Chilling Rain pack. Now, what I usually say is a collection box will give you at least one decent pull and uh, i guess we're going to be testing that theory now pokemon have been really funny uh with their pull ratios of late actually like even booster boxes haven't been getting like the secret rare that you'd normally expect and stuff and i do think that's part down to pokemon rushing to get products on shelves if i'm honest and they're probably using different printing companies which is affecting uh the, the print quality and runs because wow look at the print quality on our reverse rare oh my word can you make that out? The furriness to the top of it. Let's see if we got anything good. Oh, we got a Beedrill. Single strike Beedrill. It's actually a really cool artwork, you know. I, I actually quite like that. That artwork on there. That's nice. Let me sleep up. Thank you again to Bulba Pro for supplying the channel with sleeves and, and top, top loaders and semi rigids, guys. If you want to pick up any yourself, check out their sites, link down below, and use code MACCULLY to get 10% off, uh, so it's really good value. Do make sure to go and use that code. Right, last pack of magic, guys. Let's see if this Charizard can bring us any luck, and uh, have we already blown what is our pool in that Beedrill, or is this Darkness of Blaze pack gonna bring us some heat, which is really cool. I uh, have 
some suspicions, by the way. Oh, no. It's a green code card. Gutted. Right, one, two, three, four. There is uh, some rumors going around. I haven't found out the complete collect classic collection reprint set, but one of the cards that's potentially being reprinted for that set is the VMAX Charizard from Darkness of Place. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if that comes to true. Uh, no doubt I'll be bringing you those leaks when I get them. Go look. And it's the Wigglytuff that we all expected. Okay, so that was the Ice Rider one. Time for Shadow Rider. Now, I actually do have a question for you before we get into this. Out of the two, which do you prefer? Are you a Shadow Rider? Are you an Ice Rider? I actually think I prefer the Ice Rider. I like the horse more. The sort of pointiness to it and stuff. It looks a bit more aggressive, personally. But let me know. What do you prefer? It. Let us know in the comments down below. Right, so there is the Jumbo promo card in there. Of course, you've already seen uh, the smaller one uh, in there. And now, I'm personally going to start getting into grading some of my Jumbo cards. Uh, I really hope that like Ace Grading or like Poke Grade or something uh, start offering a service to grade the Jumbo cards because I can't be bothered to send them to PSA. I just kind of want to grade them to display them, so I don't care who I grade it with. I just want them in a slab, personally. There's that code card. Remember, get anything good, come check out my Discord and let us know. And then the four packs, two chillings, one darkness, and one rebel clash. And we are going darkness to blaze as last pack magic. Let's get going. Let's kick off with chilling rain, actually, this time, guys. We'll go rebel clash second, I think. Let's uh, see the code card. Let's yeet it for luck. Yeet! Right, one, two, three, four. I'd want my pull to come from chilling rain or darkness to blaze. Um, Kakuna, that is like a mean looking Kakuna for sure. Path to Peak, Heatrum, Lady Bear, Squover, Crabrawler, Grookey, Score Bunny, okay, Malma, and the last card, Passiam, Passiam, Passiamen? Okay, let's go Rebel and let's hope. Uh, this is well, did Rebel, is that where we got our pulls from last time? No, it was Chilling Rain, wasn't it? We got our pulls from last time, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's get anything out of the Rebel Clash one. What is the card? I honestly, one of you is going to know. It, it's, it's one of those sets that you honestly can't remember. Uh, I used to say the same thing about Steve Siege, but I now remember it's like the Volcanion, the gold of Secret Rare Volcanion is one that you really want out of that. Bronzor, more Pico, and damn it, this could be our pull out of this box. Okay, two packs left, and I know I said these were amazing products to, to buy, and I, I still stand by that. I still think for the packs and stuff, it's great. Obviously, our pulls so far have not been amazing, So, but then again, I don't really necessarily think when you buy products, you're buying it for like the pulls, especially collection boxes. You know, you're obviously buying the collection boxes to get some packs for a chance to get a pull out of something in it. So, um, and like I said, you normally get one pull per box. That's what we've got. It just happens my pulls have been hollows. But it's nice to have some decent packs to open in it anyway. Aaron, okay, Cres uh, Cressilia, and a Galarian so far fetched. Here we go, last pack magic. Let's see if we can kind of break this rule. Let's go see if we can get one more pull. Let's get something out of, <gasps> oh my God, look. It's a white code card from Darkness and Blaze. What are we thinking? Is there a chance of the Charizard? Is there a chance? Rail Camp, Lava Star, Paris, Bunnelby, Meltan, Snubble, okay. Oh, it's a Galarian Stunkfish V. But we did get two pulls out of a collection box. Like, that's pretty mad, to be honest, to get the two pulls from one. Normally, I honestly, it normally is just the one. But there are our pulls, guys. This was from the first box, the Ice Rider. We got the Beedrill, and then the Shadow Rider came in. Definitely got the better pulls out of the Shadow Rider, but I still prefer the Ice Rider artwork design. But do let us know in the comments which one you prefer. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do remember to drop a big thumbs up on it. It very, very much helps. Other than that, do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!